emotional turbulence in life so there are times when you know you have to face a lot of emotional turbulence in life it uh, somebody a breakup may happen in love or you know there are things that doesn't go your way and can give you a lot of emotional pain maximum time i have seen that kids feel really lonely because they do not have a very good talking relationship with their parents and for that matter i would not say that it's 100% your mistake you know it's 25% it's from your side but 75% it's from your parents side that they are not being so friendly and for the age group that you are the younger generation most of the people around are facing the exactly same thing so there's no point in talking to them you don't get a different perspective about it you do not get much more enhanced knowledge about it <clears throat> at max a friend may tell you you know i just let it go just let how how to let it go how can i let it go it's not that easy somebody may tell you you know uh, just go start doing some positive stuff just pick up a hobby or if you are interested in sports or something then start doing that just keep yourself busy every adult around you is going to tell you to you know cover that up whatever emotional pain or emotional wound that you have just cover it up with tons of activities keep yourself busy do this do this do this do this so that but by doing that you are only creating distraction for your mind you are not healing the emotional wound you are not addressing the emotional wound and that is not the way to deal with it why today you will cover it up with lot by doing lots of activities here and there today it will be pushed under the rug and later in life sometime when you are like 35 40 years old or maybe even older than that it will that hidden wound will play a role it will become part of you that scar will become part of you and it will go on inhibiting you in so many ways you will have so many inhibitions if you have lost in love you have lost a loved one then it will play out differently if you have been rejected in love in so many times you have you haven't found a partner you love somebody but that person doesn't love you all these kind of emotional wounds later on will play in life and it's not that it plays just like 2 weeks or 3 months or 6 months sometimes it's years you that you have to deal with it then what is the best way to deal with an emotional wound the first thing is stop running from it stop running from it stop doing tons of activities just take a time out be with yourself why because you need yourself right now you do not need anybody else around you if there's nobody that is fine that is completely okay if there's nobody you think that parents do not understand me my brother sister do not understand me i have i'm just so lonely i have do not have anybody who understands me that's fine whether anybody understands you or not the most important thing is you understand yourself in life and in order to do that just take a time out just have some downtime just give yourself time to heal time to address that and how will you heal and how will you address that when you are in your downtime just see what is why so much pain nothing in this life happens that you need to take very personally you know people reject you people walk out of your life not because you are bad or you are not compatible because they are they are equally not compatible with you they do not think they can walk with you in their life so it's better to walk out sooner than later most of the time when we are growing up the hormones are going up and down the hormonal explosion is happening in your uh, body and it is causing certain types of thoughts thoughts of intimacy 
expecting intimacy in the form of love from somebody now you often get mixed up what is intimacy what is love love and what is a sexual relationship what is attraction what is attachment all these words seem confusing to you why because you are still growing up <clears throat> you haven't attained that state where all these things are pretty much compartmentalized or pretty much you know uh, very well understood by you you are still growing up you need time to understand what is love what is attachment what is infatuation what is a platonic relationship what is a casual relationship where where do we do you need to create a relationship where do you not need any relationship what is the difference between love and relationship all these things will give become clear to you when you start going forward in life when you start growing up so no need to take any emotional pain do not need to you do not need to cover it up by doing tons of activities just take time out instead of talking to somebody else and expecting to talk to somebody else talk to yourself talk to yourself in a very loving manner as if you would talk to your friend or someone you love or a child just talk to yourself like that that you know why why so much pain why is suppose my name is prakriti and if i talk to prakriti i will talk i'll talk like this that prakriti i am with you whether anybody is with you or not i am with you and if you are feeling any kind of emotional pain let's just understand it let's just go through it let it let let's just wait until it heals by not distracting the mind and suddenly you will find the strength when you talk to yourself like that you'll find the strength to deal with anything in life it's all about talking to yourself and not you know letting your mind just run out outward in the world towards other people asking for help looking for help it's very important you talk to yourself have a dialogue with yourself and that way you will understand yourself better and when you give yourself time to heal properly then later on in your life this wound will not play out this wound will not show its ugly face again and again and again and again in every relationship in any kind of situation so you really need to give yourself time to heal and have an inner dialogue with yourself a loving one